Okay, hi everyone, so welcome back and you know it's BTO season so if you're collecting your keys you know or you're even planning for your house layout looking for ID and all that so this video is for you okay so in this video we'll be sharing with you the four questions in relation to four items which is the dishwasher water dispenser a electrical drying rack as well as the robot vacuum so these four items I will share with you uh, why we bought it so you know you can decide for yourself whether you want to um, and where we think is the best place to put it so just to share of these four items um, only the electrical drying rack was thought to purchase like way before doing our planning and renovation period um, the other three items right we only bought them or were gifted them um, at, uh, after we moved in lah. so because of that you know the layout isn't the most optimal so we hope that through this video you know it will help you to have the best um, planning of your spaces in your new house before we start i'm gonna do the usual you thing oh don't forget to like subscribe and you know comment if you have any questions uh so because last week we didn't upload a video because both me and my three month old son fell sick so it was terrible and the youtube algorithm is punishing us for it so if you can do help us like so that like we get more traction again lah huh? okay let's start okay so the very first question to ask yourself is do you all want or need a dishwasher so I think this is very debatable, especially in our Asian society because like, you know, shame on us for using dishwasher and not, not using hand wash. So if you've seen our previous video, right, we actually got a countertop uh, dishwasher. Um, it was a very difficult decision to make like, because our house is a three-room, right? So counter space is already limited. Um, and then obviously because renovation is done, we could not get a built-in one. So we're left with a countertop one. Um, but the main reason why we really wanted to buy it, right, is because um, we frequently host friends uh, and families at our place and at the end of the day right the gathering there's so many things to wash like let's say and then it's like one of us right or maybe one of our guests also will constantly be standing at the sink area or the kitchen area washing and it takes away time away from from you know like heartful discussion and talking yeah, so that's the reason why in we said okay, we'll just buy it, even though it's a sacrificial part of counter space. So yeah, I think it's something for you and you know your partner to think about. Do you all think you all frequently host friends over? I mean, if, if you have sufficient like cabinet space, then maybe you can consider doing a built-in one. But if not, you know, you can watch our counter top dishwasher video to see, you know, if that is more suitable for you. For us, right, um, because we got it after we renovated everything and moved in so although our countertop dishwasher has an option to connect um, the water the water supply to uh, like our water pipe but we decided not to because we will need to like drill a hole through our countertop and it's like it's too much trouble so what we have to do now is that we just have to manually use the water jug and top up 5 liters of water every time we use it but if you know if you plan for it beforehand then you can really tell your ID or your plumber to cater for that so that they can plug it in directly and you don't have to always top it up with oh and also if you know if you decide not to put it near a water source then you can place it anywhere because you are not limited to the water pipe as well so yeah that's a consideration okay so just to share you know so influential no la um so we sh when our neighbor so we moved in first and then our neighbor moved in then he came over to cc look look so he shared he like hey bro like a dishwasher was such a lifesaver man like bro you need to try it uh. or like you know if you frequently have friends over and get it so in the end he and his wife decided to get it also so what they did was that they placed the dishwasher on top of their washing machine and they connected the dishwasher to the water outlet that is the same one as the washing machine lah. so this is another alternative that's pretty useful because I mean then you have you free up more counter space in the kitchen and yet at the same time because the yard room nowadays is usually just next to the kitchen lah. so yeah it's easy to like load your plates and unload them okay so the second question is do you need a water dispenser so I guess in our own homes or with our parents you know traditionally what is done is that we just boil water in a kettle then we pour it out then leave it to cool then you get water right so we also had something similar you're just a regular water dispenser with a filter um but then you know when because we were gonna have a baby and we had need up like warm water to make the milk powder we needed uh, hotter water you know to make milo and all that kind of drink so that's why we decided to get the xiaomi one um and i think one of the reasons why we got a xiaomi one was because 
I mean, we only wanted to get it after the renovation, right? So firstly, we needed to find one that uh, was not connected to a water outlet. So that's one consideration that you can think of, you know, do you want a water dispenser that's connected directly to the water supply so you don't have to fill it up manually, which is more convenient lah. Um, but the downside is that, you know, you have to put it near a water outlet and you can't place it anywhere um, in your kitchen. That, so yeah, that's something to consider. So for the water dispenser, there are a lot of different kinds, right? Firstly, that's whether you want a built-in built -in one, uh, like connected to water outlet, or you want one that is flexible, that's not con uh, connected to one. Then there's some that um, doesn't have filter. So previously, when I was looking for one, right, Taobao had a lot of like non-filter ones, and most of the time, the filtered ones were connected to a water outlet. So the one that we got was, I, I felt like I was one of the few rare ones that um, allowed uh, Water, uh, water dispensing with filter, filtered water as well. Um, then the other thing is also I think the size. So some of the built-in ones, you know, it's really just a tap, um, the, like the whole. But then for the more portable ones, you have the whole function of it, like the whole chunky one. So it really depends on what you are looking for. Um, maybe your kitchen size, how much countertop area do you have, um, and that kind of thing as well. Okay, and then the third thing is whether you want a drying rack. So for us, we thought of getting it already um, because back then, I mean pre-COVID, right, we were thinking, oh, we'll be working, so we should have an electrical drying rack um, so that it's more convenient to hang clothes so that it will dry. And because of our yard room layout, right, it doesn't it doesn't seem like we will get direct sun. Actually, we don't get direct sun. So we're thinking, oh, you know, then the clothes won't be dried properly. It won't have like the musky smell. Um, so that's the reason why we got it. But after getting it, um, actually the airflow in our house is quite good. But it has turned out useful um, recently la, with the wet weather and all. So it has allowed us to turn on the heater function to to like clear up and make sure it doesn't smell. Because sometimes when we don't use the heater function, then it can get quite musky and smelly. La. So for us, I mean, in terms of placement, there's only one place, la, it's really the yard room. Um, and then I guess there are different functions that you can find. So for example, there's like whether you want the just um, regular wind or your hot wind, do you want the UV um, cell 2 version? But actually honestly, the UV cell 2, I, I, we never used it. I think we only used it to like cell 2 or like to disinfect cushions that we couldn't wash. Um, that kind of thing. So, yeah, I guess for that, right, um, you can see whether you have to get it locally because locally, I mean, there's warranty, there's people to install. Um, but on Taobao, there's also a variety of options. So on Taobao, most of the China appliances, right, they're all 220 volts. Uh, Singapore is 240. So for that, there's not much concern now whether like it will blow or will be too dangerous. But you also have to check your ID as well as your electrician um, whether they are willing to install something from Taobao because um, some some of them they are not comfortable la, like they don't want to install Taobao stuff just in case you know anything happens so uh, you have to be safe you can send them the specifications of you know the drying rack you are intending to buy send it to them and ask you know hey is this okay you know is the like the length of my drying rack uh, able to fit the ceiling area is this suitable to be um, installed can they install it uh, and yeah, so hopefully this helps in the planning, uh, during the planning stage as well. Okay, last but not least is whether you want to buy a robo vacuum. So I won't go too detailed into it because we just did a video of like, should you buy a robo vacuum so you can check it out. Um, but for us, the reason why we only got it after Reno was because we actually gifted it. Lah. But then on, so same thing, our neighbor, when we when we were sharing with him about all oh, the robot vacuum and how it was amazing, especially during the renovation cleanup, right? Because you know, after renovation, it's so difficult to clean up the house. Like endless amount of vacuuming doesn't do it. So the robot vacuum helps. Um, yeah. So we told him that you know, I think what we would have done is that we would have um, for our built-in shoe cabinet, right? We would have raised it up so that there was a bit of space to put out to dock our robo vacuum there but then that was years ago when there wasn't the auto emptying bin function and now that there is right so there's something to consider because you need more clearance space uh, so you might need to make the shoe cabinet like clearance space higher so that's one thing to decide you know um even if you don't think you will buy a robo vacuum cleaner now but just in case you know you get it as a housewarming gift or like 
you and your spouse keep on quarreling over who should vacuum and mop the floor, then you all just decide to like spend money, right? Then you all will know where to put it. Um, because for us, so the shoe cabinet wasn't area wasn't an option. Um, but we thought, eh, hey, actually we can put it in the yard room. The yard room, um, service yard space. There's space, right? Um, but the issue that is that there's no plug there to charge it. Yeah, so do take that into consideration, you know, if or when you should get a robot vacuum, you know, where would, would you want to put it, uh, where are the plugs available, um, and yeah, and most of the robot vacuum, they need clearance space, so like, example, if this is a docking area, then you need like, or oh, let's say like 2 meters, 2 meters, 2 meters, or what? yeah, like 0.5 meters, 0.5 meters on the left and right, and at the front to, for it to navigate lah. Okay, so I hope that uh, these four items uh, and questions, you know, will help you in your renovation journey. Uh, especially, you know, if you need to pull cables, you need to plan, you know, where to where are the water pipes and where to put things. And you know, how to conceal them so that, you know, they are not so ugly, the wires are not sticking out at all. Um, and also, if you are looking to buy all these, like, or you're wondering, you know, like, how to get all these items off of Taobao and you don't know how, uh, let us know because, you know, we have a service where we help people buy things from Taobao using a third-party folder so that allows you to buy your electrical appliances um, actually yeah, mainly the electrical appliances and your bulky furniture at a very cost-efficient price so you just have to work out a small fee together with us um, but all in all, you know, it, at the end of the day, it's gonna help save you money it's gonna help you get, you know, your items at about like 20% discounted rate because it's Taobao and it's cheaper so yeah, hit us up if you're interested and let us know if you have any other questions. So we'll see you. Bye.